me. It's for oh, people there listening. It is. Okay. Yeah, it's yeah. Your mic is very low. Yeah. Uh, I'm up here. I mean, I could care less. Nah, nah, I'm kidding. I, I, I really do care. It's important. <laughs> Oh, that was not a bot, okay. No, I was just martyred, same thing. <laughs> yeah, I killed Fennel when he was God, I hope we're live on the, on the stream. We are live on the stream. There's a lot of crap live. talking. <laughs> okay, I'll to increase someone's volume on Ventrilo. Mm, I should get it to the for it. to the for it. volume. And then adjust it. I'm not so sure this is working. Would you like me to talk so you can find out? And I, I actually don't see that comment to uh, increase the volume. Okay, I think we're okay now. Special effects. I'm gonna. Had a neck hole on you, please, boy. <laughs> yeah. All right. Looks like the server's getting set up. Always a crucial part of any match. That's a, that's a good point, man. Dog. Getting the match set up would be would be pretty crucial. Indeed. Obviously, why they paid the big bucks. Yep. Do what I can. You know, uh, the next probably most important thing to take care of is someone's probably gonna pick uh, the map and spawn. Wow, Black, you're on your way. You Another keep 15 coming minutes. up with stuff like that, and um, you're gonna be right there with me, pal, at the top. I aspire to be just like you, Mad Dog. Of course, you're missing a crucial point. I think we need to get both teams in the server first. Well, I mean, yeah, I mean, I, I didn't mean to get ahead of... to let us get ahead of ourselves now. And once you cover that base, then it's good to start picking map and tag, map and spawn. If I'm not mistaken, I think WK is going to be riding with, um, extra bots on their side tonight. Is that right? So the seven, 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 bot. seven WKs and then about ten more bots. Of course, I don't know why West Knights would take on a a bot with with five trade skill. Seems, seems like a waste of skill points to me. Does Special any of you as uh, as Snoop on Steam? Because uh, he seems to be having issues with setting up the server, so he might give us to one of us the password to set it up and get this started. I have him on Steam, but haven't done this n number of times. I typically don't like when some random person like steams me when I'm trying to set stuff up. <laughs> Just one more thing you gotta try and figure out. So we'll trust that uh, you know both both West Knights and uh, Rebels have been doing this long enough. We'll trust that they'll get this figured out here. In just a minute. Yeah, yeah if not, we can just commentate on the fail. <laughs> yeah. I mean, someone on West Knights or Rebel roster has to be competent enough to get the server started. I'm going out of all that here, but I'm gonna make that prediction. Wasn't it Mokov one of those teams? Mox Either with GK the, or W. Yeah, with GK at this point. I mean, tomorrow is unknown, but at least right now, <laughs> in this 24 hour cycle, he's with GK. I'm just kidding. Love want, you, Mock. But no, really. I wonder how, how long that's going to last. But yeah, I love you too, Mock. 
Stop being a clan helper, though. <laughs> Well, if Mark's not on the server, he's probably not watching the stream as well. I heard he only joins the winning teams. Yep. Sad. Yeah, interesting. Sir Friday fights with the rebels. I see him on the siege server a lot, and uh, actually a good amount of skill. He was a good pickup for the rebels. Let's see, seven rebels. So we got seven WKs. Possibility of a uh, start here in the near future is probable. Bold prediction here. The match will start <laughs> in the next 15 minutes. I'm going to go out oh, on a limb luck. here. I mean, if, if the over-under is about nine right now, I'm taking, I'm taking the over. Easy, man. Who else wants streaming status or, or has the NL admin mods to have the streaming status? Me, please. Uh, crazy <laughs> boy, do you? Mad dog, do you have it? I do. And uh, black. Yeah, I have an ENL as well. Anybody want to make a prediction on a uh, on map choice? Planes? For I the w WK? Yeah, I can see WK going planes. They're going to have... Um, WK is going to be the top seed. They're the number one seed, uh, finishing out on top for the season. So they'll get to choose whether they want attacker or defender. I don't know anyone who to choose the uh, attacker though. They did really well on um, Field by the River, actually. Um, once, against KOA. once the rules for Nasty kind of transition from uh, kind of adopted the more European rule set of changing map and uh, changing factions and spawn, then uh, the real advantage to picking attacker attacker kind of goes out the window because you're going to get a turn with every faction. I don't know. I've I've always liked attacker because a you're kind of making your opponent show their hand uh, what they're going to try and beat you with, and b you really get to counter pick with a faction that you that you feel you're going to be able to play better with. So you know you may choose a faction not because that's your strongest faction, but because you may feel that's your opponent's weaker faction, knowing that they're going to have to play it as well. So I've kind of always liked that, making them uh, come at me and, and tell me how they're going to try and beat me. I, I typically choose attacker when I have the choice. Yeah, it does give you and tells you a lot about you. Yeah, exactly. 
Yeah, you're gonna take a close yeah. map and try and melee me. You're gonna take an open map and you know try and uh, archer slash cav. Yeah. So, I think that advantage is a little is isn't quite as exaggerated though when you got if you got the leaders and the callers for each group paying attention and knowing the tendencies of another clan. I guess maybe it could work to your advantage though if you play if you uh, try something new out, try to get something up your sleeve. Well, I think that's one of the biggest things with the rule change is you've seen a lot of diversity uh, as opposed to the Nasty or even the K-Boom where everything is set for the entire map. You basically knew exactly what both teams were going to be picking, um, their choice and then the counter. And there wasn't a lot of deviation because you had to have a strong faction to go against a strong faction how you're going to be playing them. Uh, this, we've seen you know, Nords versus uh, Swadia on uh, random planes. Uh, you'll see Vagers on closed maps just to take them off of open maps. Uh, I think it's really brought a lot of diversity. Made it to where you can try new stuff and not um, have to worry about it as much. I do love the diversity of the new uh, rule sets. Or should I say the more up-to-date with the Nasty 2 Yeah, I agree as well. Although well, it would be a great improvement to have randomized factions and uh, maps. I definitely agree with that. The The one thing you don't get is you only have four rounds, so you don't have a ton of time to um, change your strategy. Uh, you got to be mm -hmm. really on top of it, and you got to decide quickly whether we were outplayed skill-wise or whether there was a tactic that could have worked out better. And, um, yeah, yeah. You know, so that, that's the only downfall, is you only got four rounds to try and figure that out. Yeah, and when it comes down, it gets to your, what you're talking about, about being prepared to it. It comes down to the best plans that are actually prepared to it and prepared to face any situation. Because it plans, it's an open map, closed map, mixed. Doesn't matter the faction, it comes down to the plan that has that is on top of this game. Yeah, I definitely agree with that. You know, skill and preparedness comes into it. But uh, I was actually watching the nasty finals of bad versus crap, um, and they were rolling us on port assault first three rounds, and it took us a little bit of time to get rolling, a little bit of time to kind of figure out their strategy, and um, it was four to three, I think, and we came back and won it. And that was just because we had that little bit of extra time. If it would have been over and factions would have swapped, then it, it could have went di very differently. Yeah, but I do like yeah, that. I don't stay. It's pretty good. It was a big evolution from the the K book, and those nasty the new nasty rules are pretty good. Although I still think that planes are kind of unbalanced because you can't switch properly because when you reroll the map you're going to have a totally different map yeah. setup. Yeah, I agree. And I, I think there's some work I can to try to get that standardized and have like a, a few different planes maps to go from and that way it'll be a little less random. I've always been a big proponent of uh, creating a, a, a planes map, a fixed planes map and Maybe, yeah. I don't know, maybe have two yeah. or three variations of it, but ultimately have fixed planes maps so that to, even, to keep it a little more even. Especially when you got um, certain callers who know that they can take a more ground-based, less cab-focused faction and, and just choose a map that suits that. And then turn around when they got the better cab faction and pick a flat map. Yeah, I, I do love uh, random planes, and I actually feel bad that we don't play that often on, on Europe, because it's an awesome map that, it, when it comes down, it, you have to improvise when you do random planes. You have to do it all over again and change your strategy, and it comes down to actually teamwork, because random planes are all about teamwork. And Absolutely. that's one of the aspects that I love on this game, it's the, the teamwork. And that's why I love planes, and we should have play, played more often on, on Europe, and we don't. It's a great map. It's a great map. Is this the, uh, is this the first map we're rolling with this? Yeah, we may be going. Um, actually, I should have seen this coming. Desert Town for WK. 
It was kind of a map they didn't sneak in, but you know, it got added to the um, to the list of maps that they could do, and um, they actually went and kind of chose this as we're going to put some work into this map, figure it out, name some stuff, and and get some strategies going, and try and surprise a couple of people. I think they have throughout the season. I like it a lot because the layout the layout's a little more extensive and you can, a little more variation in, into what you can do, how you can catch people off guard. Sure, as opposed to Nordtown or something like that. Nordtown's a little more straightforward and predictable, and, and then you have maps like Village, where Village is kind of... Village is rather spaced out for a close-together map. It's just that the wall... Where you enter and, and how you get past the wall is kind of the focal point of village. This one, there's all kinds of different routes you can take. You can be right on top on your right on top of your opponent in no time. All right. Well, we Looks are. Like we're going live here. Yeah, we're sitting without a streamer right now. But... Oh, gosh. Gotcha. Knights of the so. North team. Sticking really close together. Uh, that's one thing that we know that you have to do with uh, with small teams like seven on seven. You have to stay together. There is no splitting up on this map. Being said, if there ever are competitions with like bigger groups of people, this map is fantastic for it. Looks like West Knights rolling uh, four infantry, two archers, a cav. Rebels, Rebels have only the one two crossbows. Uh, two crossbows. They've also two got a crossbow and a cat running away. Yep. Um, Rebels definitely have the advantage right here. I think they should push it. They don't have oh, that they advantage. They do it when they're going, they're going to get steamrolled there. Their advantage is cut out if those arch or those crossbows don't have cover. Yeah. They've found cover now, but too late. Hammer. Hammers. Hammers out doing some damage. And that's great. Rebels have one infantry tying up their archers so that hammer can work. Yeah. Nice. Oh. Oh, oh that, that was beautiful. There. Telling him to do a great job off. with that hammer. I did not expect that. And he backed off. He backed off at the worst possible time. I'm surprised the. Uh, West Knights let that calf get free. They had him right in the corner. And, and this is also not a good position to be using your calf with that, that ladder there of those stairs. Just basically takes the calf out of the game there. Those watches are essentially what bought them that victory. Laxter, who was set at the back the whole time, on four kills. Out of the five kills they got, four of them were from that archer sat at the back. Oh, well, let's see, the um, rebels still have a chance here. Yeah, they're definitely in this. If they do this, Ooh. yeah. No, they like shouldn't have dismounted. Why they dismounted? They had the advantage there. Yeah, that horse doesn't look beat up at all. Uh. Lagstro took six kills. <laughs> this will be seven players on the opposing team. He's a pretty good archer. Everyone else is just a school. distraction. Rebels going pretty heavy infantry with one crossbow and one cab. BK is all ground now. Three archers. The archers served him well last time. Uh, and again. It's like uh, rebels are going to run into themselves into a trap. And they're going to rush to James. see Bohemond on the ground because he's been doing a lot of practice with uh, Sword Cav. Getting pretty good at it. Wow. Well. If I was the rebels, I wouldn't engage at all there because their cab is useless. 
So well, if the rebels run out, they're going to get caught in a. If the rebels run out, they're going to get caught in a monster of a crossfire. They probably don't even know it's there. If they oh, stay yeah. there, they've got poor flag control or poor map control. Well, they can get out easy enough, but it's not going to get them anywhere useful. It's just you have to keep kiting around. If I was them, I'd be taking the time now to run around like the entire lot of the map and just pull the knights out of their position. If you force WK to pull out their position, <laughs> wonderful shot. Whoa! I kill you. Ill advised charge there. I ran right into the spear. Ooh, that cap. So yeah, now the rebels don't have a cap, so. They don't have to bother with that anymore and getting a good <laughs> position for him to play it. <laughs> I know, Rodox versus uh, Nords, it's uh, pretty, pretty even factions. You can't just say that you can't just say that steamrolled them. Comes the WK of course, meat is a known delicacy on the west coast, by the way. Just explaining that to all the viewers who watch them kill that horse. Oh, we were wondering. The rebels are holding them off pretty well. Close one. Rebel. Friday yeah, rebels tied it up. Some good work. I think the rebels are showing WK that... Showing WK, you're not just going to be able to walk over us. We're going to... You're going to... We're going to put up a fight. Yeah, but, but they're still quite passive. They're just waiting for the, for the opponents to charge. They're not taking the initiative yeah. here. I think a lot they're of that comes from the final of the map. Yeah, I agree. I think they're I think they're uncomfortable with the map, which is really thrown off in their decision making. And that's probably why you know WK has chosen this and chosen to put time into it, is that it's going to throw their opponents off like this. I think Crazy Boy was about to say something. Was I? I could say that this map is one of those where most good gamers would actually know everything about it before ever playing. It's Dust 2 from Counter Strike. Ah, uh, yeah, yeah. It's played completely yeah, differently played though when you have when you have like three different classes. Like just you know when you have uh, melee and and cavalry added in to ranged, it completely changes how this sort of thing is played out. Oh, it plays very differently, but I don't agree that people wouldn't know how to call things, because I could give you names for all these places with, like, pinpoint accuracy, <laughs> and anyone who's played Counter-Strike would know where I'm talking about. But, yeah, yeah, that's my point. But for someone like me who's who's never picked up Counter-Strike and would be calling the map, yeah. you know, that, that doesn't really help. It, you'd be lost. So but, West Knight's gonna feed him to the flag. Yeah, this is a good play. Yeah, this is a good for the rebel. Mm -hmm. Far away from both. Strong teams. WK out. So, just gotta watch that alley behind yeah. the, uh, the yeah. stone wall. Make sure West Knight's don't sneak anybody in there. Get a few lucky, sh few good shots off. Like what they're Some doing right now. Some guys bam on keep, keep, keep smart and bit. Yeah, that's a that's a staple of West Knight offense, throwing weapons. You gotta always watch out for those. And honestly, it used to be all they had. To be honest, if they get Marnid here, yeah, exactly, they have a, a big advantage. Do you like me to Marnid out? That'll definitely help with the crossfire. Looks like Achilles is... Now they have to, he has to take down Achilles. Glitch. <laughs> Do you like me as taking out another another archer? Yeah, I like you just fun. Oh, that's his name. Sorry, that was bad. And WKs are just kind of mopping this up. I think what we saw there was the uh, rebels lacking confidence. If they'd have pushed into those archers, they could have pulled a few kills out of them. Certainly yeah, stopped yeah. themselves getting caught in a crossfire. Rebels stood really well there. That was close the whole map. Even after they lost their cav right off the bat. Sometimes I think that the rebels they are much better that, than they think they are. Because they are good players, skilled players, 
And I think they can do much better if they put themselves into it. Sometimes they like the confidence. Both teams meeting up here. Looks like an early engagement. I feel like the Rebels' best chance of of uh, beating the West Knights is, is these infantry engagements. Yeah, I agree. West Knights have very, very good ranged in cavalry. But yeah, I think they, the Rebels they have, are they, pretty they good. They have to take the WK here. Yeah, and they were really solid. Really I think solid the here. Rebels can, can hold their own. So... That TK, TK. Team kills do not help them. Yeah. They really stalled there. They could easily split WK in half, yeah. pushing two infantry into the alley, double team them real quick. Instead, they kind of waited. Both human caught completely off guard there. <laughs> Pulling out the hammer. He's got to get help from his teammates so he knows that's coming. Yeah, basically here, at least what I saw was everyone going for one-on-ones. They just focus on one on one opponent, and they forget about everything else. Yeah, and agree. on the start, it was six six rebels against three WKs. Yeah. They should have had it. When as a as a loose rule, generally if you're taking more than two swings at the same opponent in a big melee fight, then you're you're doing something wrong. You gotta look to either a guy coming behind you or to hit. An opponent who's got his back to you. I challenge that. I always take three blank. Well, Mad Dog, you are Mad Dog. This <laughs> won't apply to you. I rolled my own tune. If you actually watched what the uh, what WK were doing there, they were actually getting a lot of hits before Rebels opened up to start attacking back. I saw like five or six hits on their shields before they'd even attempt to attack back. Yeah, that's so the aggressiveness and putting them under a lot of pressure to begin. I'm sure West Knights can hear those hammers coming out and cut right this right corner here. mighty wide. Both teams right next to each other. Nice, lovely shot. Lovely shot. Good shot. Looks like the Rebels have a place for the crossbows to reload here too, which is very beneficial for them. They definitely have the, the better position. Oh, the hammer missed. Hammer came yeah, out a little uh, early there. Yeah, I yeah, got in trouble. He was, he was Another hammer in it. There. Cause they're trying to pull the hammer trick from the same place twice, just it's not going to fly. Is it? Yeah, and those archers supporting are just winning this for WK. Re I mean, Rebels put themselves in a good situation there. It's just when you, especially when you got hammers as Rodog and you got to go as one. Yeah. yeah. The, the 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 imp that you're attacking has to be worried about someone with a with a sword and board, while your hammer can get a free shot on them, or else you're just you're just wasting your time buying hammers. Exactly. Uh, what I saw here was the ammo guy going all along without any defense. So the ammo guy would be spammed, and the support role of the infantry next to him. He did nothing. He just stand there with the shield up instead of trying to to get to get get the opponent before he actually hit the teammate with the hammer. Because the hammer, it's a great weapon, but it's so fragile at one point because it's so slow, and you need to have a backup to use it properly. That was surprise. Looks like WK is almost split. No, they're just trailing. Rebels uh, kind of copying uh, West Knight's build there, three archers. Yeah. Archers are all on top of each other, though. That's not really going to help. I think he's on Depending on how confident West them. Knights are feeling right now, I wouldn't, I wouldn't be surprised if they don't wait to either till master for for rebels to get a little overzealous to try and get them on the open field with them since they got that heavy if, if they fight the rebels where they're at now that heavy is just useless yeah it's kind of the one thing with wk working on this map i mean they're doing really well but now they're doing something different but they were just sitting there for a minute i just figured they would have like 
better idea of what they're going to do. Maybe proven wrong. They're shifting now, so they're repositioning. And I don't think rebels realize that they're shifting. I think they think they're still right around that corner when the whole team's flanked around behind them. Oh, we do see a lot, a lot of this when uh, when a team loses uh, on one side, they tend to do the, exactly the same thing that the opposite team did. And I think that's what the rebels are doing now. They're trying to yeah. copycat what the uh, WK did. Uh, rebels are in a terrible position right now. Yeah, they don't realize they shifted and exactly. they're just sitting yeah, there. Oh, do you see that shot? <laughs> Great shot. Was it cracking? I mean, rebels haven't really been caught off guard yet. I mean, most of their their defeats, you can really just pin it on coordination and and execution. I mean, they haven't really been dominated any of the rounds so far. Yeah, I agree. They've been really close. Definitely a lot of confusion on the rebel side right help. now. Still managing to stick together though, and that's, that's honestly the thing that matters the most on this map. So what what we have on the rebels? We have uh, one, two archers, one cav, and the rest infantry. No, they, they had three, three archers. archers. Three archers. Yep. Yeah, one of them got three archers, four imp, and one of them's been taken down. Okay, yeah, yeah, okay. Yeah, that's the one I was missing. Yep. And a bad master of the field for the rebels. <laughs> <laughs> it was right where they were. When they get there, the flag will be at least at half. Yeah. If they get there. No, if, if they get there on time. Because, yeah. <laughs> Actually, they they get get there, that flag is going to raise in 15 seconds. Yeah, they won't, they won't even show up in time. Yeah, the the double kill just needs to stand there with the shields up. They'll get the flag if the rebels don't get near it for the last 15 seconds at least. I think that's there they come. Map now and meet them on the steps. Maybe this flag will be both steps. <laughs> <laughs> that's possible. <laughs> You can't stop, you need to get right on top of that flag. Yeah. yeah. So, uh, just, so, yeah. And now you just back off uh, and try and save it. Yeah. Well, they were able to try to get on a better position. They just, I won't say I'm lucky, but naive. I'm going so far away with so f few time remaining until the flag spawns. I actually think the Rebels, have rebels want to play it out. As well. Playing Archer is pretty difficult on the... There's no one to be, uh, Against crossbows it's difficult. Incredibly difficult. Yeah. So, looks like they've dropped down to two Archers now. It's probably a better than before. Oh, I should have not taking a helmet. Not taking a helmet is just silly. Well, no. I mean, I don't take a helmet. Of course, I am just silly. silly. You are just silly. Exactly. <laughs> yeah, typically, I'll take a helmet. West Knights were right above yeah. there a minute ago. You're gonna get killed on, on the face anyway. If you're using a helmet or not, one hit on the face, you're probably dead, so... Better show your face, your pretty face, than using a helmet. That's right. Mine's too oh, beautiful man. to hide. Yeah, they exactly. need to get out of that alley. Ah, it's painful to watch. Ooh, oh, really good really shot on Wiley. Almost blank blank shot. Now he's wasting his arrows on a horse, okay. Good jab there. 
but they're getting a little split. If they actually press at this point, they'd be in a good position. Not too few men now. Not too little, too late. Just found out that uh, yeah, bush offers no protection against arrows. Yeah, see that. Even when um, WK sent those two guys around the back to try to surprise oh, wow. them, around the back, it, just flies. it takes too long to navigate this map, like with a small group. Battle was almost over by the time they got there. Shout out to Borderlands 2. Which Fidel Lagstrom is obviously been playing. He's obsessed with loot. And no one here cares. Again, <laughs> <laughs> these rounds are sent pretty much superficial. Oh, yeah, yeah the map's already flash won. right away. Yeah. Oh. Yep. That is. Go straight for it. Fight. And okay. actually, lack of... Lack of map knowledge can actually be overcome just by good teamwork. You just roll around as one, one ball and everybody kind of knows their role. What it's like getting going to the jump. Yeah. Horses just got jacked as well. I think we saw that in the, uh, I think it was, uh, Wapa on GK. No, Fred is going to try flank. I'm not sure if he's get there on time. Oh, no, that was the, uh, the, yeah, that was the Wapa GK, I believe. They had that big scrim and, and the GK folks, they had, like, 15 guys all working together as infantry and just... Big ball. <laughs> Intimidating. <laughs> <laughs> My team in comes in. Working together, but... running through uh, Nordtown. So he even came in, but it was like nobody else on his team knew he was going to do it. There was no infantry rush, there was no backup or anything. up a good stand there. Yep. That's kind of all you can do at that point. Snatching a kill always makes death sweeter. Um, is anybody in spec part of the Rebels team? I might have the potential for it. I guess I don't see anyone from the Rebels there. Actually, that is an interesting point. You can see GK has shown up to, uh, I guess, support the Rebels. Shown up in droves. <laughs> well, I mean, why wouldn't they? They're coming off a big win. Don't know what you're talking about, Black. <laughs> I think you do, Mad Dog. I don't think I do, and I don't think you do either. Any bets on what the uh, Rebels map's going to be? Definitely a closed one. Yeah, they would do closed. Uh, yeah. I, think, uh, I think Desert Town rules out closed ones, doesn't it? No, this is a sure. This isn't is a mixed. This is listed as a mixed map. That's interesting. It's really big. I think if it were a smaller map, 
and like the big alleys weren't here, they were like a bit smaller, I think I think then it might be a closed map, but like there's so much room for, for a cav to, to work in here. Like Well, I mean I'd rather be cav on village and village is a closed map. <laughs> And you have way more room to work, especially with the outside there. Oh, this is deja vu for me. The whole mixed closed debate. Well, I do hope it's not planes, because planes it's fun to play, but not fun to watch. Pretty sure this is a mixed. Yeah, village wouldn't surprise Can't me. Can't you pick them up from the same I think Nord Town anyway. is, is the place they will go, though. Yeah, yeah. I've seen them. I've seen them. I've seen them. I've seen them. I've seen I think if this is a, considered a mixed map, then Rebels kind of have no choice but to play their strengths and go to a Nord Town or a village, preferably Nord Town. Yeah, definitely. Especially since. Village. West Knights are very deep in archers and very deep in Kev. I was gonna say, village is a ranged map, it's dominated by ranged, so it's definitely not in Rebel's favor. And Snoopy's on a kicking spree. <laughs> Maybe forcing people to watch the stream. Well done, Snoop. <laughs> Sorry for ghosting. Nice. An interesting duel between uh, Friday and Calamity. Yeah, it's going pretty well. It's kind of what I was saying. Friday was a great pickup for the Rebels. I think this is actually his first time uh, in the competitive scene. What does the BBV stands for? Or just uh, Fred is like a random pervert that got picked up by the rebel? Basically, yeah. Yeah, it's just a, a tag he's worn all the, always, I think. There's a couple other people I've seen with it too, but I don't think it's a clan. I think it's just a group of friends. Like three. Be honest with you guys. People or something. I would love to see preset maps and factions just so we could do a ra do away with these. Uh, anywhere in between two and five rounds of wasting time of trying yeah. to get someone mm -hmm. to choose their map. Yeah. Mad Dog's kind of a cranky old man Maybe. when it comes to map choices. I'm cranky and I'm old and I don't want to fight you for three more <laughs> rounds when we should be switching the map. Yeah, that, that's one of the good things we have in, in Europe that like a, a scrim would take about 40 minutes to get completed. And, and here we've been dicking yeah. around for... Yeah. No, it, it, it might take the same time, but uh, if you, it would take the same time if one team would be steamrolling the other. Otherwise, it would take at least one hour. And the funny thing is, it's like people, when I press someone or when someone's pressed for their choice, it's like they're like, we're thinking or talking about it. I'm like, you put no thought into the match at all. You, you didn't have any idea what you were, you know, what your strengths <laughs> yeah. are, what you're going to be choosing. I think it's a habit. So, I think you're being anyway. unreasonable, Mad Dog. I'll yeah, that's down. my rant for the day. Back to happy stuff. Uh, <laughs> hopefully the Rebels will pull something out good on the second map. We're looking for it. I'd say the biggest thing, watching the Rebels play out that map was, was great, honestly. Uh, just the uh, the heart and commitment. They're like, uh, yeah. we've already lost the map, but hey, we're gonna keep playing. I if nothing else, uh, just show you that we're here to play. To be honest, it was, it was, it was not a, a walk in the park. It was not because not the because the uh, delicate it had to commit to win this. Definitely not. Um, if you look at it, um, I mean, I'm not sure if anybody's taking screenshots of it, but they can probably go back and rewind it. And I, I mean, I think I might recall one round where West Knights finished with four guys. Other than that, it was usually mm -hmm. two or three. Yep. 
And 7v7, that means... That means you can't take your opponent lightly. Yeah, you If they're forcing you to commit your final two or three guys. Does it mean there are cracks in West Knight's armor? Round's going close, so we're already in the, the, uh, the final. Maybe. This is taking a uh, annoyingly long time to switch over. Super in the middle. Second map. Shit load. Not to mention, probably gonna have to load the map, let everybody download, and and then restart it. Wasn't Savos on the Rebels as well? No, he... Uh, Savos Houdin? Yeah, Savos, um... I thought he was on a... I thought he was on a... Silas, on the not Rebels. Savos Houdin. Oh, yeah, yeah, Savos. I hear it now. It's that funny accent. <laughs> that, that's my job here, it is to translate across the pond. Savos, 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 what's the difference? Mad Dog, again, age being a factor, can't can't really hear too well. What'd you yeah, say, no. Sonny? <laughs> Did we get stuff like words. wrong spawns and get another reload? It's just a very drawn out affair. Well, that can happen to anybody. Not like it's ever happened to me, though. I always get it right. I predict four archers, four cap for WK. I see an infantry already. One, two, three. Two infantry. I, I think you missed oh, it. They have an infantry. They have at least yeah. three archers and only, and only two caps. Good old two, My two, two. Is wrong. I see Friday brought his uh, two-hander along. I think we should actually. I know Ruins is a mixed a mix map, so if Desert Town was a mixed map, then... Yeah. Desert, yeah. Desert Town... Yeah, legal map. Either. Yeah, Desert Town better be closed or else this is a, this is an illegal map. Yeah. Desert Town is a closed map, according to John's post. Cool. There we go. That's that's not good for rebels. Yeah. I feel like the more space and and uh, not the more space you give West Knights, nice, the more advantages them. Serna, just uh, when you're dealing, like I know, I know in in Europe when you have a thousand gold, Serna is powerful, but at fifteen hundred, Serna is going to be really weak against pagers. I should just correct you there. In Europe, yeah, where we have one thousand gold. <laughs> <laughs> Sarenid is not very strong. It's as strong as it is here, which is shit. <laughs> the cav is squishy, their arches are squishy, their their infantry are their infantry. You know, their infantry you can do drop, a good setup. Yeah. If you drop scimitars from your archers you can get a nice setup from the infantry, but that's about it. No no no. Somebody uh, got a cav. Infantry are a waste with Sarenid, in my opinion. The only thing you can leverage off of them is their horse's maneuverability and the fact that you have archers. Yeah, I do love this. I do love It's probably the best horses on the game, but yeah, forget it. Three, That's two so arrows on the horse and it's dead. It's a different kind I'm of always, play style. I'm always a fan of a hunter. I just don't like riding glass cannon. I wouldn't say the play style is any different to Vegas. I mean, you can do anything with Sarenids you can do with Vegas, except Vegas do it better in almost every way. Yeah, maybe. Well, I think it's this nice is where the 1500 people crutch, or the 1500 gold comes in, because you can't buy a Sarenid heavy horse straight off the bat, but you can buy a Vega heavy horse. 
Not to mention the Lamellar and the, the the major difference that what is it 650 gold for the Serenade leather versus the yeah was it 900 something for the Lamellar? Both teams seem to just kind of pick their spot and sitting there waiting for Master. Rebels have a couple of infantry, a couple of archers. Yeah. There it is. That's probably well, the majority favor of these archers. It's hard to commit. It's in favor of rebels, but they're all running for it. In this position, yeah. when you're between them and the flag, you want to try and pick off as many as you can while they're en route. Yeah. Like you almost kind of want to. And the cab comes in while they're on the run. If you can keep your archers not protected, you might try leaving one or two. Yeah, with two infantry, yeah, 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 an archer is always sad to see him go to cav. Uh. Well, the thing to, thing to realize with two minutes left, they're not going to cap that flag before WK shows up. So yeah. everybody on the flag is... Don't really need to be there. They're just... They're just, they're just giving away cover. Yep. They can either just spread themselves out to where they're easy pickings, or put themselves all in one uh, spot for the archers to pick them apart. And here comes a cav. I think rebels would have been better off trying to just kind of stick to the wall and try to try to one by one take out uh, West Knight archers. It's surprisingly hard to do. Is when you have Serenade Archers, they just they don't have the power. You have to get like four good hits on them to take them down. Good kill by Ninja. Yep. Another good hit. Another good hit. I was gonna stare down the whole oh, impressive shooting. Just putting it up. I was gonna stare down the gun barrel. <laughs> Making those hits. That's very, very impressive. Absolutely. Wow. I mean, he's, he knows he's serving their practical purpose. You know. I, I would not approach the imp. I'll just yeah. go ahead and yeah. with the round some barbed arrows and be done with it. <laughs> Try to get one more kill. Yeah. Hopefully, I, I don't think this is a smart move right here. Yeah. Just don't go anywhere near them. Glitched Hopefully you can afford Yeah, he's gonna give it up. Oh man. Hopefully you can afford shoes next wow. round. Yeah. <laughs> Nothing like a little wow. taunting. <laughs> the best comment ever. Hello again. <laughs> that was pretty priceless, but I said. Yeah. I'll take my 1500 statements back. Give this man more money. <laughs> Buy some boots. WK is still up at the wall. Ninja Lynx is formerly Will Paul. I had no idea. Good runs at the archers there. Yeah, Bohemian, the free floating calf. He got a hit, but man, that was hairy. West Knights have each of their archers with an infantry paired up pretty well here. Man, pretty impenetrable, it's great. Except Marted, all alone. <laughs> Pretty standard setup for WK, just kind of chilling at the wall. Um, I'm curious. 
Can anybody else yes. in yes. On streamer or spec see the that flag? Yeah, I can see. Can get, can get. Yep. Well, that just answered that. Is that the <laughs> future <laughs> master <laughs> field spawn? Yeah. Um, I'm not sure. It might be, but this should be happening. Now. I've heard mixed reports on it. Every time I've seen it, it's come up in the place where it's showing. Yeah. But I've heard it. I've heard it is just a glitch from where the last flag was. Ah. Well, maybe it. we'll find out. Mm -hmm. Archer goes down. But interesting, he's over 200 ping. Yeah, I wonder if he was lagging out there. Or... And Bohemian goes down. There's a he's trying to do that. Center room. He was trying to get a quick snatch on an arch. <laughs> mm, lovely shot from our new. Yeah. And this is where you're seeing the superior West Knight archers. Picking them apart, spreading them out. Yeah, that's the thing. I mean, West Knights are going to be ready for a, a surprise cab hit from the sides. I mean... I would thought especially just need one to have a... Uh, going once. Looks like we might not find out about those flags after all. And this is going to look like it might be the real first round where West Knight just pulverizes the Rebels. It seems strange that Rebels would pick this map because it favours West Knights. Um, yeah. This is their ideal hunting ground. Short of perhaps um, they're, Well, you gotta remember, according to the nasty rules, they're not they're not gonna get a closed map, so it's gonna have to be somewhat wide open. So they're they're fighting uphill either way. Yeah, in Ruins it is one of those maps you the one where we either take control of the map or you're screwed. And playing on the on this side so that the rebels are playing now, it's quite hard to control the map. Well, they need to I think the conventional wisdom at least in North America, is the rebel the current rebel spawn is actually better. That's what the conventional wisdom is. But I find that when you if you utilize that wall and and really never quite give up the wall, then you pre, you effectively control two of the master spawns, and you got a good spot on the on the final one. Yeah, exactly that. Because the notion I have on ruins it's mainly based on North America. Uh, because normally the other spawns, the WK spawns, it's where you get the control of the map and you hug the walls and you, you, you don't let your, your, your opponents move away from those ruins. And even, the, even if the flag spawns near the ruins, the, the guys on the wall, the WK side, will still have the chance to control it with a crossfire. So I still Absolutely. believe that this spawn, where the rebels are, it's the toughest one. Absolutely. I know Jordan Mad Dog prefers. Yeah, I prefer the village. They've got to push out the flanks. They've got to yeah, push out the flank. They're just not doing it. Exactly, like like Crazy Boy is saying, if you're spying on this side, you have to do something. You can't just be like passive like the rebels are, are being at the moment. You, have, you, you either have to push the left or right or center. Not center, because center is a dead trap. But do something, just sense. not stay there. But I know it's 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 a hard task. Yeah, it's, it's not all easy about to that play. left side. Well, that's kind of the it's very situation the rebels. Yeah, if it's tempting. Yeah, absolutely. Especially but when those cav are roaming around, those cav can be quite familiar. Yeah. But pushing is really the situation the rebels have put themselves in, especially when they're running three imp. I mean, there's nothing you do with infantry except push. Yeah, you they're already getting you, flanked. You leverage your imp to gain that map control to, you know, to try and hold a spot. Oh, 
Now, for instance, do, do you like me fighting alone against three guys? Yeah. And this should be happening at all. I don't even see any... There's one archer helping them out. Two archers, they finally... Yep. The worst part is there was no tactical advantage in him being there. Yeah. Exactly. Way out of position, absolutely. I can understand being there if you're gonna, you know, spy on what the enemy's doing, keep an eye on if they're moving out of position, so you can react to it, but he didn't react. He obviously didn't see it, or if he did, he didn't do something about it, like run away, which is a very good idea. Interesting, uh, kind of dichotomy for this match so far is on the first map, when the rebels were playing on Desert Town and really couldn't have, couldn't have been too familiar with that map, I mean most of their most of their losses were were you can attribute them to to lack of execution and just and just not not playing good enough as opposed to ruins where they've played this map for years now and they're making mental mistakes. I think that's always been yeah. rebel main problem with the competitive scene is they're good individual players, they just lack the sort of tactical mastermind that other teams have sort of figured out. Yeah, I agree. I agree with Crazy. And plus they have one more problem now because they have one less player. And I don't think they're gonna get a seventh one time. Surely WK should be dropped. Minimum number is six, is not. Yeah, six v six are allowed. WK should definitely drop one. If not, I say rebels advance. <laughs> I know your tournament, Evan. You can make that happen, right? Oh, yeah, big time. Actually, I already have this. Already. This match is actually mute. I mean, just the by the mere fact that the West Knights have Marded on their team, they should automatically be playing one map down. You make it sound like he's like some kind of amazing player. Oh, he is. is You've never been headshotted by Marnid several times, did you? Not really. Nah, you don't want to feel that. It's just annoying. Although I, I'm like, I'm pretty good at avoiding headshots. Yeah, but right, Marnid is probably one of the best archers on NA. It's pretty good. Don't forget, Crazy Boy is just amazing. So Rebels have pushed up, and West Knights sent an archer to the ruins. It's nice to see them kind of gunning for the wall, yeah. being a little more assertive. They got have those, one of the archers playing against mid ruins, got them in a good situation. So basically, the Rebels just abdicated from the first fire and Ninja went all to the left. They leave Ninja Links alone. Oh, that, that so basically, it's all over again. They're, they're getting crossfired all over. And they just don't have any flexibility because of their infantry. Their their lack yeah, of cav makes it where they yeah they're just not flexible at all. So we get to the point that we understand that the rebels are quite an unbalanced team, I guess. You would think they seem to have a lot of infantry, not many cav and not many archers. Yeah. You'd think that as much success as Lynx has given them, that they could have stuck an imp on them and not let them die out there. <laughs> I know. I can understand their hesitation to pick up Kev because hey, you're going up against Wily and Clammy and everything. But as long as you're not going head to head and you're just acting in that yeah. support role, then you can hold your own. Leverage your, your archers. Exactly. 
Hey, Not good ass cavalry roll. It, that's, yeah, uh, exactly. It's it's the cavalry role. I mean, regardless of skill, the cavalry is not a 1v1 exactly. kind of class. It's, it's an mm -hmm. opportunity. Mm -hmm. you, you to have to bump to do whatever you have to do to help your teammates, not go one-on-one. One -on -one. So the skill doesn't matter that much as long as you are able to bump and backstab with cultures. I mean, very rarely does a a, a competitive uh, match like this just turn into a, a dog fighting contest. Yeah, it's only Balian versus Wapa. And that's like most of the times, like a like an actual ladder system or an actual like mid-season match doesn't even go that way. Only in like friendly scrims. All right, looks like the rebels. Again, for it quits. I mean, it was an entertaining match, to be honest. The Rebels have, could have done much better. They had close rounds. If they would stick together, they could probably get some rounds and we still be having a match right now. And, like, we definitely saw excellent individual play from all of them. Yeah. Like in yeah, this map in particular, it definitely comes down to having those infantry sitting in ruins that, like, they're just wasting like, their time there. And like, I, don't know. I think the score on on the first map is a little misleading. I think rebels were the rebels were in in that game very close. Yeah, they they could have shaved a couple of rounds. I, I think if there's another tournament and the Rebels put together a team, they should really just kind of stop and see what their strengths are and then figure out what maps, factions, etc. are really going to play to that. Yeah. I agree. If they keep going and playing and keep training and keep playing together, they actually can put up a good fight and be a clan that we should consider. Yeah. Well, and, I think that's and, the biggest not, thing they... Not that they Wait, wait, let me correct. Not, not that we don't consider the Rebels now, but they can do much better than they are doing now. Because they have the skill, they have the... everything to be a good team and a good clan. Oh, definitely. They are by far not, not maxed out at all. Definitely. There's a lot more room. And I wouldn't be surprised if... Because, I mean, I, I, I hear stories about how hard they're working and I wouldn't be surprised if they get better. Just look at GK. Yep. Yeah, don't look at the MW at all. We're not an example to fight. <laughs> don't look at Valiant at all. <laughs> <laughs> don't be so hard on you. Sorry. Wait, why am I telling look, you? Look at God. Like look the at the being hard on your <laughs> Don't look at the frontliners of Valiant. Look at the. <laughs> Look at the good players of Balian. The only satisfaction I get to play against the Balian is to kill zero. Well, everything yeah, else I, mean, I don't care. Well, I mean, the only really really so punch. I don't. As long as I get to kill zero, I'm fine with. It. I'm fine. Well, I mean, surely. I mean, I know you do it so often. It must get old eventually, right? No, not that often, to be honest. Poor Zero, he, he's practically already dead when he spawns in. But every time I play against the Bell, I always go, where the fuck is Zero? I gotta, I gotta, I gotta take him, I gotta kill him. <laughs> That's my well, main I mean, goal against the Bell. You gotta give a lot of credit to Zero. I mean, he, I mean, he knows his shortcomings and he still manages to have fun role-playing as Cav and infantry. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and his archer. Now, uh, now we joke, we joke a lot with the, with Zero, but he's actually a pretty nice guy and a pretty good player. I mean, I just brought him on his eye candy, to be honest. <laughs> I never expected him to actually fight anybody. <laughs> fight anybody. Mad Dog really it's wanted really cool. something a little it's bit really more cool. exotic than your basic Eastern United States white guy, so he That's figured he'd get the Brazilian. That's, That's right. He's Brazilian. That's, That's the issue. It's not the fact that he's a Belian, he's Brazilian. No, it's like a cultural thing. Portuguese have to kill Brazilians. That's natural. And my, uh, my Canadians were driving me nuts, so I didn't want to go that route again. Yeah. That's a little too exotic in the wrong direction, as far as Mad Dog's concerned. Yep, yeah, so I went south. 
And occasionally, Mad Dog needs a little chocolate. That's why I'm here. <laughs> All right. Well, let's wrap this stream up. Fenner, thanks for streaming this. Okay. Appreciate it. Once again, here with Mad mm-hmm. Dog, Black, Maned, and Crazy Boy. Thanks, guys. Thank you. Thank you.